In this video, you're gonna learn how to use AI to create content that actually generates traffic. Now, everyone and their mom is using AI to generate content, but the question is, how do you do it the right way? How do you create content that actually provides value and bring something new to the table? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna cover in today's video. So your first step is to go to Content Shake AI and enter a keyword or a topic that you want to cover and it'll automatically compose an article. Now, if you want this to be a traffic generating piece, what you don't want to do is just copy this and publish it as is because it's not really ready for prime time yet. What this really does is give you sort of an outline in addition to some content to work with where you can have an expert go in and improve upon it. And hopefully it covers all of the beats that you want to cover and maybe even gives you some ideas for things that you didn't think of. So the first thing I'd recommend doing is making sure the title is something that is going to speak to your target audience and be something that people searching for that keyword would want to see. So it really depends on the keyword and the topic that you're covering. This one is actually decent, but obviously it depends on the keyword you're targeting. So if you're targeting like, you know, why content marketing is important, then you'd want to change this to, you know, why content marketing is important. And then you could put something like more engagement and more conversions, right? Something like that. So again, the, the focus here is not, oh, this is perfect like it is. You typically want to be doing a lot of editing. This is just a starting point. And the cool thing about this feature is that it takes you like literally step by step down the page to figure out if you want to keep things as they are, change them a little bit or change them a lot. So in the case of the title, you can just go with one of the generated titles. You can also look at what's used by competitors um, that are ranking. And again, you don't want to just copy and paste the title because that title's already used, right? There's already a piece of content out there with that exact title. So you just want to use it as sort of to get an idea of what's out there. So once you think your title is good, the next is to go to the intro. And again, used by competitors is just to give you an idea of what intros are already out there. And Again, they even, you know, there's even a warning that you don't want to just use these examples. You want to use those that are suggested by AI. So if you don't like the one that's in the piece, you can choose a different one in the sidebar here and go with that. Um, but generally, in my experience, the intros for most content are too long. And that's true for AI generated or human generated content. But the real goal is to make sure that the intro is really hooking people. Um, forget AI or human written for a second. The idea is that someone lands on the page and they say, wow, okay, I'm in the right place. This person clearly understands the problem I'm trying to solve or what I'm trying to learn. That's really the goal. And I'm glad that this feature has a dedicated intro section in the sidebar. The next and maybe the most important part of AI written content is a structure because it's going to structure the content based on what it thinks is the best structure for your content. And in my opinion, it actually does a decent job of this. The content itself can be a little bit hit or miss and we'll go over that later. But the structure is usually pretty good because what the AI is doing is looking at all of the content out there on this topic and then figuring out what's the the best structure if you're taking all that into account. So what I recommend doing is reviewing the structure carefully to make sure that it hits the beats that you want to cover. Maybe it's missing some or maybe it includes something that maybe you don't want to cover. If that's the case, then you will want to delete one of these sections. So how it's structured is with an H2 and then it has an H3 underneath that's sort of a subheading and that's a good structure in general. But again, you want to make sure that it's covering everything you want it to cover in the structure. It doesn't make sense to get into the content itself and start changing the wording around or changing the images. The most important thing is the structure and making sure that it's aligned um, with what you want. So that's really it for the structure itself. And just this is, again, in my opinion, anyway, sort of where AI tends to do a good job is in this structure and outlining. It ensures that you cover the main beats that you want to cover structurally before you get into the content itself. The image Images are sort of take it or leave it, in my opinion. These are from other places and they are, you know, sometimes pretty good. But again, you don't necessarily need to use them. Just look with the content. So let's go right into a couple things. First of all, the improvements. So this is going to tell you basically, you know, is this optimized for SEO more or less? And is this optimized for readability? Because AI can do a decent job at this, but it always helps to have a human reviewer review this stuff and make sure that these sentences have the right to tone of voice that you're looking for for that content. Make sure it covers your keywords and things of that nature. But the most important thing, honestly, is to rewrite the content quite a bit. So in general, the more you rewrite this to be original, the better it's going to be because anyone can just type in to any AI tool, like write a piece of content and some will do better than others, right? It's not that they're all going to give you the exact same thing. But the idea is that you need to really infuse your personal experience 
anecdotes, examples, case studies to make your content unique. And you also want to review it for accuracy to make sure that what is being said is 100% accurate. It's not about just taking this and copying and pasting it. It's about using this as sort of a starting off point for your content marketing. If you do that, you can have success using AI with content marketing. But again, the idea is more that, for example, in this piece, maybe you didn't really plan on covering brand awareness or nurturing leads. You really want to cover traffic when it comes to content marketing. It's a way to get traffic traffic from SEO, from organic social, from paid social, for leads for a B2B. And then you're like, oh wait, also it can nurture leads. Like once I have a lead, sending them valuable content, that's an angle I didn't even think of. That's really where AI can shine. And that's really where I recommend uh, using it as opposed to just generate an article and clicking, copying and paste. I think most people would agree that's not a really successful way to go. But if you use it as a way to help structure your content and also find subtopics that maybe you wouldn't have covered on your own, it can be an effective strategy to mix in with your human written stuff. So in this video, you learned how to use AI to create traffic generating content and I'll see you in the next video.